Welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin. I garden in Zone 6 in Northwest Connecticut. If this is your first time joining me, thank you very much. Please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much it means to share gardening um, information and thoughts with other gardeners, and I really appreciate the support. So uh, I think this is the end of the season. <laughs> um, the leaves are really quickly coming off the trees here in Northwest Connecticut. It's been a gorgeous fall. It's been nice. It's very windy today, even though it's not cold. And um, I thought we'd take one last walk around, take a look at some of the uh, fall color and what's got to get cut down. I'll try and go as quickly as I can so this doesn't end up being too long. So let's get started. So I've already cut back. Um, I had a very large hosta here. I still have some uh, cannas that I have not gotten. Um, uh, I'm really waiting for a first frost on those. Still these, um, you can cut them down now or cut them down later. If I'm gonna end up dividing them, I will cut them down. But uh, cat mint, um, Solomon seal, I think I'm gonna do a little thinning here because it's spreading kind of aggressively a little bit. Uh, Clethera, um, is, you know, everything is pretty much finished. The heucheras look really nice. I'm gonna be getting all the pastas cut down. This one's still green. Um, oh God, we definitely have got to pull some of this loose strife. Every year we pull this and every year it just comes back and invades. It's impossible to get rid of it. This Japanese maple is now finished. And again, I have heucheras that I put over here. I have a bunch of daylilies that I moved in here. I'm going to be dividing more daylilies for a friend who's sharing garlic with me. Um, the baptisias still look really nice. And the monkshood is growing. And there we have some nice fall color on the um, calicanthus. This is Michael Lindsay. Oh my gosh, this bridal veil spirea actually has a, a bloom. Talk about out of season. And then this little spirea has, uh, is a pink one, and that's got some nice fall color. So let me turn around over here. Um, boxwoods, got an Amsonia down there. Uh, Verona castrum, this rose is still growing nice. All the leaves are coming off this Little King Heritage um, River Birch still got I'm just waiting I think I'm just gonna have to pull the dahlias out um, they're they're super slow and it just at this point uh, what am I gonna get one or two more more blooms but I gotta get the leaves out of these beds that's for sure the hydrangeas have some nice color and I'm, I'm even actually getting a couple of blooms which is funny um, morning light grass that looks really nice uh, the camisiparis nice bright yellow green color the calicarpa beautyberry this is early amethyst is really putting on its show um shenandoah grasses uh, barberry back there pinky winky hydrangea got some, whoops, I've got some coneflowers. I've got a very large zebra grass here. The sedums look great. And so do the um, oak leaf hydrangeas are putting on a ton of color at this point. grasses. Joe pie weed. Uh, I'm definitely going to be cutting that down. Going to be cutting this entire back row down. I'm just loving, absolutely loving this Raiden's Aster. Um, it is way bigger than I expected it to be. My Peace Rose is, is actually blooming. Uh, I think I told you that that was a gift from a friend. Drops of Jupiter oregano looks great. Uh, oh, so easy Italian ice is still blooming. My roses here. So 
let's swing around and see what we got over here. So this is a pink diamond hydrangea. Sorry, it's pretty bright out at the moment. Not gonna complain. Uh, more grasses, this is heavy metal. These things are really all putting on a really beautiful show that the seed heads um, are really lovely. Um, it's hard to actually capture that. Um, standing ovation grass. And I've got some Rochelback grasses and a big tall miscanthus there. Um, so this is what we just, we moved uh, the penstemum in here and we moved this Ilex Sky Pencil Holly over here. Uh, it was over, right over there. The leaves are now off the whole viburnum hedge there. The Kusa dogwood is amazing. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. This might be, this is one of the most beautiful falls we've had for ages. Um, Agastaki, um, they're, they're kind of hanging on. You know, they're, they're way past their prime at this point, but uh, Ruby Ribbons, grass, one of my faves, um, is really looking pretty. I even have a couple of, still have a couple of foxgloves actually in here. Um, new Baptisias, and again, like I said, the Kusa dogwood looks amazing. So let's swing around, get out of this bed. <laughs> Cone flowers are kind of finished here. Um, more Shenandoah grass. Um, like I said, it's really hard to see the little seed heads, but they're so pretty. Firelight tidbit hydrangeas. This was a viburnum there you see also. So over here we have some pinky winkies. And they're 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 finished. I mean a few of them still have some nice color. And my elderberry, I'm not sure if something took care of it for me or whatever. Uh, definitely got to get rid of this <laughs> container, but I will say uh, that toffee twist grass did really well. Um, I really, I really did like that. My geranium rosans look amazing in this bed. Wow. And I've got to say for all the vol damage I have, the catmint looks great. This is Walker's Low. Starting to get some color on that paper bark maple. Rose of Sharon looks like it's lost most of its stuff. This is Einstein. I love that Dahlia. Um, I have some that literally are just starting to come up. Like I said, this is the most bizarre Dahlia season that I've had. Take it out of my shadow here. Uh, I have Climbing Rose back there. Put my strawberries back here and I'm gonna fill that with garlic. I have a friend who's an expert when it comes to that stuff. My cool flowers, uh, let's see. Got some fever few coming up. I see some, I don't see the boot firm. I see the bachelor buttons. I don't see the larkspur. And I don't see the nigella. So we'll have to see what the story is with that. Uh, hydrangea looks okay. I've got some globe thistles. Uh, again, the cat mint looks awesome. We're finished over here. The spireas are finished. Um, we still have a few anemones back here. Hostas definitely all need to get cut down. We've got all gold Hakanakloa. Burning bush has already lost its leaves. We've got a whole stand of black-eyed Susans back there. Another hosta ready to come out. Uh, hydrangea macrophyllas. Um, these are bloomstrucks. Definitely don't cut them down uh, because you, you'll cut off next, next year's blooms. So you definitely don't want to be cutting these down. This is a runcus goat's beard. That's definitely going to get cut down. 
<laughs> this hosta, uh, this is Crosa Regal, definitely is just melted away, um, but I'll cut that up. I think I'm going to pull some of this lady's mantle out because it's gotten really crowded in there. Um, same with the Astilbe. Um, Epimedium's looking great. I won't be touching that. Uh, the nine barks look good. Hopefully you can see some of this stuff. I know it's very bright. Um, my Dawn Redwood is starting to put on some really pretty fall color. Get in there and show you. That's really starting to put on some pretty color. I finally got all the Queen of the Prairie cut out. Drives me nuts. Uh, this is oh so easy pink cupcake that's still blooming here. Pretty, I love it. I can't get over that this plectranthus guacamole is still is still going strong. It's even blooming. It's nuts. It's, it's literally it is still blooming. <gasps> that and playing the blue salvia, boy, have those things performed outperformed this year. Um, cannot get out of my shadow today. Uh, Ruby Ribbons Grasses. And the Cyperus. Again, here's another shot of the Kusa Dogwood. And Regilia. Putting on a nice show. Here's some Sedalia called Mrs. I. The Warner. Uh, finally have color on the Amsonias here. And does that not look amazing with the Kusa Dogwood? Got a Baptisia in here. So this is where we rework some stuff. We move the uh, Phlox opalescence forward. Um, Thomas Edison, Dahlia is still going there, but I don't think I'm gonna get any more blooms. There's the penstemon that we put in. Um, there's the containers that I, that I did, and those are still going. Really pretty color on this Japanese maple. This is Koto no Ito. Um, and that looks amazing. The hawthorns are full of berries, but they've, uh, the birds are quickly annihilating those. <laughs> uh, the grasses look great. More ruby ribbons. Uh, Agastache. So a lot of this stuff is going to get cut back. I've got a few more dahlias going. This is eccentric. Whoops. Let me see if I can get it so you can see it. It's eccentric. And this is Cornell bronze here. Just waiting for those to open a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Yarrow. Vintage violet yarrow. I cut a few stems the other day. Got another clethora here. There's the brandywine viburnums. Looks like the birds have pretty well annihilated all the, the uh, berries that were on those. Unbelievable. Kind of crazy. Um, still have dahlias in this yard, in this bed over here. I've got cannas. Um, I've got my Thomas Edison, no, my uh, David Austin uh, Eustacea Vi rose that was in the container in the front that I moved back here. And let's see, what else do we have? We still have some dahlias over here. My catalpa is quickly losing all its leaves. Um, like I said, the, the views are, it's so beautiful. Um, it's really between the kusa and the the Japanese maple and the, the red berries on the hawthorns, um, it's still really lovely, even though things are really disappearing quickly. Even this year, I've got to say, oaks are usually pretty horrible. I don't know. This year, even the oaks are gorgeous. I mean, this is, this is crazy. Like, I would never even say that about an oak tree. Um, but even the leaves on the oaks are so vibrant. So this Sun King, I'm going to be cutting that all the way back to the ground. It'll come back. It'll flush up brand new next year. Um, I've got three blue kazoo spireas. They're already finished. 
Uh, I've got Azalea over here. Now they, they both look pretty good, actually. Spireas. So there's another view. The lilacs have lost their leaves. Here's another spirea. This is a red one. Putting on some pretty fall color. Really pretty viburnum. Carlisi, I think is how you say it. Um, the nine marks are beautiful. Wee white hydrangeas um, and some more euchros. Let's see what do we have over here? We have still have some dahlias. Um, we don't have too much going over here. There's still some burnet, but the the flowers are all gone. But the plants are still okay. Still have shrub roses. Um, and the salix are doing pretty well. Um, Becky daisies. <laughs> well, I had one daisy that the stout. I still see it the other day. Uh, so that's actually still green. They haven't died back at all yet. Um, like I said, the nine marks are a really beautiful color. And same thing with the cotinus smoke bush. Um, really pretty color on these. Really pretty color. Um, these I am going to coppice in the spring and I'll show you that when I do it and I this week uh, I have a video that's coming out or might have already come out on how to coppice or what you might want to coppice. Uh, peonies of course are finished. Their fall color is nice but it's time to go. The quick fires are um, also rapidly losing their leaves. And even the Spirea Ogon um, was a little more colorful the other day, but it's kind of losing its color a little bit. So it's going to start losing its leaves. Um, but if you see in here, wow, I've got some roses that are doing great in here. And I've got some hydrangeas in there, lace cap hydrangeas, tough stuff hydrangeas that look really amazing. Let's go around the other side and see if we can see those better. The red twig dogwood is uh, starting to lose all its leaves, and we are definitely going to be coppicing this um, in the spring. We still have salvias that are going crazy. Um, cat mint. So here are the tough stuff hydrangeas. Look at the color on these. They're gorgeous. They're really absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. I think I'm gonna be pulling out these Dutzias. Um, they're kind of a pain in the neck. They, they, they spread through underground rhizomes and I feel like I'm pulling things out and they're just messy. And I think I'm gonna get rid of those and maybe try a Budlia in the spring. I'm not gonna do anything right now though. Uh, the porch is still the way it was. I'm gonna pull that heather out of there though. I got a couple little cabbages, ink berries. Um, uh, little lime hydrangeas and lots of uh, anemones still. Um, I've got bulbs that are going in here. But we still have a lot going on. And I even have some, hang on. So here's more of the tough stuff, hydrangeas. And look at all that play in the blue salvia. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. It's crazy. It's amazing. I mean, look at that. It's the last week of October and look at play in the blue salvia. Those are five plants. They look insanely amazing. They're gorgeous. Swinging around, I have I really would like to divide these alliums up. Right now I've left the seed heads. Um, I've got some more drops of Jupiter oregano on both sides. Still have a lot of zinnias um, and a lot of cosmos. I've been deadheading them so they keep growing. 
got a couple of, uh, not too many, I've got one or two sunflowers still. Uh, I've pulled the Bells of Ireland and I've pulled uh, the basil out of here. Uh, I still have some mahogany splendor back, back over there, back over there. <laughs> um, but the, uh, I love some of these cosmos. I mean, the colors are just beautiful. But the bees are still really happy, so I'm going to be careful. <laughs> Like I said, lots of zinnias. The zinnias grew great out here. They did not grow really great for some reason in the bed in the back, which is really disappointing. I mean, but they're really pretty. And lastly, uh, the apple tree has lost its leaves. Still got a couple of super tunias down here. And the arbor. We still have a few new dawn roses, actually, that are popping up. These are all Shenandoah grasses right here. A couple of salvias down there. And we're back where we started from. So I think uh, gardening season is just about over. We're getting ready now. We're going to be uh, pulling the dahlias, getting them ready for storage. And of course, somebody has to be blowing leaves. It's just my luck. Like, I can't, I can't get away from it. Um, and then we're going to start planting the alliums, the daffodils, uh, the fritillaria, and all the tulips. So I'll take you along for that. But I think for the rest of gardening uh, season, we're, we're finished. We're just going to start cutting things back that we're going to cut back. And we're going to start cleaning up leaves. It's pretty windy today. I'm kind of hoping some of them will just blow away. Um, so thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Please subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, uh, well, the hair's blowing all over the place. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this last walk around for the season. Uh, I think we're, we're just about done. All the leaves are coming off. Plants are drying back. We really haven't had a super hard frost here in Northwest Connecticut, um, but I'm gonna have to start pulling dahlias I have tulips that are going where they, uh, where they are, and I'm gonna put a lot of my tulips in containers, so I'm gonna be storing them in my uh, little hoop house. Uh, so hopefully they'll make it because I have 960 bulbs to put in and uh, between the ground and the containers, so I got a lot of work to do. Um, hope you're having a great day. See you in the next one.